Hi, this is Tom Moore with AWS. Today, we're going to talk about using Amazon Translate from your .NET Core web applications. In this video, we're going to cover the following areas. First, we'll set up a framework .NET Core MVC application with the required models, views, controllers to support a simple translation application. Next, we'll write the code required to call Amazon Translate service and get the translation results back from the service. Finally, we'll run through a quick demo of the service in use. First, let's start with answering the question, what is Amazon Translate? Amazon Translate is a neuro machine translation service that delivers fast, high quality, and affordable language translation. Neuro machine translation is a form of language translation automation that uses deep learning models to deliver more accurate and more natural sounding translation than traditional statistical and rule-based translation, translation algorithms. Amazon Translate is a fully managed service. That means that there's no infrastructure to set up in order to use Translate service. You simply build your application, provide your application permission to access the service, and then call the API directly from your account. You do need to have an AWS account set up and permissions to access the translation service. For this video, I'll be running the application on my local machine. So I'll be using credentials in a shared credentials file from my profile. For production deployments, there are multiple ways that you can provide access to credentials from your application. However, that's beyond the scope of this video. Some examples of the use cases for Amazon Translate are extracting insights from large volumes of data in many different languages, enabling native language searching in your application, making your custom authored content, such as support and knowledge base articles, available to customers in languages other than what you originally authorized them, authored them in, and translating the responses to questionnaires, surveys, or even social media posts from the original post to your language. Let's look at how we go about getting set up with your project. On my machine, I have Visual Studio 2019 Enterprise. However, we do support other versions of Visual Studio with our SDKs. I'm going to assume that you know how to set up and create an ASP.NET Core MVC application in Visual Studio. And I'm going to jump right into the code. Let's get started. Here in Visual Studio, I've created an ASP.NET Core MVC application. I've used a standard, standard template to create my application. The first thing I need to do is add the AWS SDKs to my project. This will allow me to call the Amazon Translate service. I can do this easily through NuGet in Visual Studio. I'm going to add the AWS SDK core component. And the AWS SDK translate component. This is all I need to be able to call the service from my application. I've created a translation model that will allow me to pass the parameters to my form uh, and, and application code that contains the variables that I need to, to track. This includes the input text, or the text that I want translated, the language code, or the, the language that I want the text translated to, and the spot to store my resulting text. I've also included an enumeration that helps my form to display the languages that I want to support. I've also created a controller that contains the code necessary for my application to perform the actual translation. 
Now, in this case, because I'm running the code locally, I'm using a shared credentials file. In my credentials file, I have an AWS profile called Microsoft, and I'm retrieving those parameters. I then have the method that I can call to set up my translation form, which I will show you in a minute. And this uses the translation model to provide some sample text and a default translation code. Once that form has been submitted, the actual code to do translation is here. I simply create an Amazon Translate client. I fill in the details, including source language code of auto. So I allow Amazon Translate to automatically detect the language that I've passed in. I'm supplying the language code that I want the text to be translated to, and the text from my form. I then ca simply call the Amazon Translate te text async method and await the response. That's all there is to it. From there, I'm simply going to display the results of my translation. Here in my web application, I've set a breakpoint in Visual Studio and I've run the application in debug mode. So let's see how it works. I'm going to click Translate to get to my form. And then I'm going to provide some sample text or the text that I want translated. I'll choose a language that I want to convert to. We'll choose DE for German, and then hit translate. As you can see here, my code's going to create the client. I'm going to create the request with the values I've passed in, including the language code and the text that I want translated, and get the result back. I'm going to then let this run and you can see the results. Amazon Translate has translated the text for me into German. Full documentation on the Amazon Translate client is available on our webpage. This documentation includes how to create the client, as well as methods on creating and uh, setting up custom terminology, and the different ways that you can actually translate text, from the translate text async call that I used to methods that allow you to do bulk translation. Hope this video has been helpful for you.